Hey you guys, way back guy here. Did you know you could save scum Streets of Rogue? By that I mean you can do like a quick save and you can reload after you die. It is possible. You can do this, guys. You can do this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna reload, I'm just gonna resume a save that I, of a you know a game I'm in progress of right now. So I'm loading the level. Okay, I'm at level four, what, five dash one? Yay! Okay, actually I wanna pause right now, guys. Now I want to back up my save. You got to do this before you die. I'm going to back up my save right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into Windows. Let's go into Windows, guys. So my save files for my game are stored under the uh, C drive, users, uh, the username, documents, and streets of rogue. So these are the files right here in the folders and the subfolders and everything. So how to back all this up, we just copy these files right here. And then we go into an, We just create a folder somewhere else and we'll just paste them you know, somewhere else on our hard drive pretty much. And then uh, if we do die, we can just copy those files over back on into the game save folder, overriding the files, go back to the main menu and you can reload. And then yay, okay, so you were able to save scum basically. Now I have created a couple scripts to make this a little bit easier. So uh, let me actually delete these files I just created right there in my backup save folder. So I got a couple scripts. I got a script called backup.save.bat. So basically, this is just a script that does exactly what I just said. Uh, first, it actually clears out my backup save folder to make it clean or whatever. You know, so there's no uh, no files in there that could conflict with each other or anything like that. And then I just basically copy all the files from the save game folder into this user created folder somewhere else on my hard drive. All right, so I'm just going to go ahead and double click backup save. And again, you want to do this at you know the beginning or before you die in the level, pretty much. So I'm going to do backup save. So all this, all that did was it just copied the save game files to a different folder somewhere else in the hard drive. Okay, so let's jump back into the game, guys. Let's jump back into the game right here. I'm gonna resume game. Now I'm gonna kill myself, so let's go kill ourselves, right? Oh, let's cause all sorts of trouble. Let's get ourselves in all sorts of trouble here, guys, and let's see how fast we kill ourselves, actually. Oh, no, we're actually doing pretty good, actually. You know what? We may not even die here. Let's see, let's just stand here. See how long it takes for us to die. All right, guys, I'm, I'm so good at this game. <laughs> I'm not gonna die. I'm not gonna die. They can stab me a million times and I'll never die. Okay, so I did die there, guys. All right, so I be dead. I be dead. So now I go like, oh no, I'm dead. What am I gonna do? So I go back. Okay, I'm at the main. Let's go to the main menu, guys. Let's go to the main menu. You know, maybe we can reload from there. Okay, let's go see if we can reload from there. <gasps> There's no resume game, guys. So let's do this like start game, I guess. Let's just start some random game here, guys. Um,. And just jumping back into the game, basically, or whatever. I don't have you don't have to do all these steps here, like you know, you're just starting a new game or whatever. I'm just showing you that you know, basically, you're having to start over now because you died, and uh, there's basically only one save slot, I guess, at the game or whatever. But let me go ahead and uh, pause the game right here now, guys. So what I want to do is I want to reload from what I just died from, so I can actually go back to Windows here. I have this other script called reloadsave.bat. So here's the code here. I'll post the code in the under the video description uh, in the video description under the video on YouTube. So basically, uh, what are what are these? Uh, what's all this basically saying? It's just basically saying copy all the the backup save files I had somewhere else in the hard drive back into the game save folder. I'm using some different commands here, particularly a RoboCopy. It's like a special copy command that uh, you have to have at least Windows Vista to be able to use it. I think most people have like Windows 10 or 11 at this point. Uh, but it's basically just a command line command to just copy everything back and forth over between different folders, pretty much. So what I'm going to just do, do is double click on this reload save. So now I just copied everything from my backup save folder right here into the game save directory, which is elsewhere right here. So now I'm going to go back into the game, guys. I'm going to go back into the game real fast. I'm going to go to main menu. Let's go to main menu. Okay. It's loading. It's thinking. And now I'm going to do resume save. Resume save, guys. <gasps> We're at floor 5-1 again. How did that happen? Again, guys, the steps are basically when you start a new level, go go outside of your, your game or whatever and double click on that script that I created, you know, or that you'll create or whatever. Or just you can mainly copy, paste, you know, right click, copy, right click, paste somewhere else. And you can move stuff around. I use scripts because it's, it's quicker or whatever. But look at this. We're back here again. It's like we can fight these guys all over again. And maybe we can win this time. Guys. I don't know if we're going to win or not. We're creating so much havoc here. We actually are a vampire. We could suck these people's blood, but you can't do it when they're shooting at you with guns and stuff. 
So let's see if we get ourselves killed this time. Probably not. But basically, guys, that's how you do it. That's how you do a save scumming in Streets of Rogue. If you, oh, if you like this video, go ahead and give it a like. You can subscribe to me on YouTube. You can also watch me live on Twitch, Kick, and YouTube uh, every weekday. And uh, that's it, guys. So I hope you found this helpful. If you did, great. We'll see you next time.